Hi everyone. So we're going to do a different type of method for sprouting. So if you've watched Miss Stace here long enough, you know I have a sprouter and this is my sprouter I have had for several years and it works beautifully. I love this sprouter. So it's a bio set. This is what it looks like. And it's very easy to use and I love this sprouter. But also, I also like to sprout in a regular mason jar. So this is a 32 ounce mason jar and this does sprouts beautifully. I'm sure a lot of you who have been in the health community long enough you've probably done sprouts in a mason jar or you have done microgreens in planting in just a shallow tray with some soil in there and i honestly i believe that's kind of the best way to do it but i mean i think you get just about the same effects just by doing it in a mason jar without any soil so um, this is really cool because like this jar gets packed full and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through it with you guys because um, this is wonderful. It's beautiful to watch the process these sprouts go through. And in just a couple of days, you'll have fresh sprouts. And sprouts in the grocery store are very expensive. So why not buy your seeds in bulk and then plant them yourself? I bought this off of Amazon. It's a one pound pack of alfalfa microgreens. Holy Raw Christina she does a wonderful beautiful sprouting video and um, i don't buy all that extra stuff because i utilize what i have at home to save on costs obviously so this is a 32 ounce mason jar that i have and then i have leftover cheesecloth here and then of course i have the the top container so um that's essentially all you need and your filtered water um, and then of course your seeds and then you put that on top like that. Okay, so we're, we're gonna go through it here together. Um, so she said about half a cup of your seeds to three cups of filtered water. And so we're gonna do that. I usually don't do that much, but I love alfalfa sprouts so much that we're gonna do that much because I did mung beans. I did half a cup of mung beans in this and it just filled it packed full and it was delicious, but I was like, I need to do alfalfa seeds. That's gonna be delicious. So we're gonna do that together. Hey guys, here's the next day. So I'm gonna drain this and I'm gonna rinse it. And then I'm gonna put the cheesecloth back on top and then we're gonna roll it and let it start sprouting. Christina has said, we're just going to leave it right there on the countertop and it'll start sprouting just like that. So second day, starting to sprout already. Beautiful. So here is day number three for the alfalfa sprouts and you can see they are really starting to do their sprouting work, doing their job and starting to create little leaves. This is awesome. I've just been moving it around every morning and this is getting so full. I might take some of this out to put it in another mason jar, but I haven't watered it yet. Um, but today we're going to do that to refresh with water. Looking pretty good. So it's just been sitting there. That's how easy it is. And you see how light, how much light actually comes through here. I did this back home in Alaska at 50 below with like darkness all day long and I still had sprouts going. So, and the temperature in here is in the 60s. It's winter time here in Arizona, which is like our summers back home. But in my house, I don't really turn that heat on very often at all. <laughs> and it's around the upper 60s and they're still sprouting and they still sprout. Isn't that amazing? So most definitely you can sprout anywhere you're at and it's so easy to do okay guys so it's still the same day and i just i didn't water usually i would water but like it looks like there's enough water in there 
where I just left it alone. So that's one thing is I, I hate, I don't want to overwater. That's always my problem. So I left it alone and it sprouted even more, obviously. So here we go. So now I'm going to water them. So I'm not going to put a whole bunch of water in there. I'm just going to kind of like try to mist it or just put a little bit in there, move it around and then drain the excess. And then we'll put it back on the countertop again. So this is day four of sprouting the spr uh, alfalfa sprouts. Look at this, the whole thing, it's bursting. It's bursting. Wow, so what I'm going to do is I do have to water them. Um, and so at this point, I'm gonna put them in another mason jar to do half and half and let them get even bigger. But this is amazing. Remember how we started? It was down here as seeds and now they're now they're grown into leaves. Alfalfa sprouts are so delicious. I love sprout alfalfas. So tender and delicious. Look at that. You can actually eat them now if you wanted to. can start eating them on day four if you want but I'm gonna let them keep going so I got two jars now evenly spaced out they're watered and we're just gonna move them over like this there we go so now we got two jars of alfalfas that we will just let it sit there on the counter just let it sit and sprout some more so this is day four Five, I believe this is day five of sprouting alfalfa sprouts. So you guys, they are ready to be eaten. They are bursting. Made two 32 ounce jars. Just half a cup of sprouted alfalfa seeds makes two. This is bursting. Wow, this is gonna be so delicious, but these are ready. Awesome. We are using the sprouts on a wrap I'm making. I like lots of alfalfa sprouts. Alfalfas are so good. Whenever I have them, like at, if I'm at a restaurant, healthy cafe or something, they always put hardly any. So you make them at home, put as much as you want in there. And I got tons. So here we go. They are ready. Yay. I love it. Pack it on there. You know, does anybody else have this problem like Miss Stace where you pack too much in your burrito in your wrap and you can't even close it? Does anybody else have that problem or is this just me? so much. What are your guys' favorite sprouts? I love alfalfas because they're so tender. They're small and tender and they have a wonderful neutral flavor. Oh, yummy. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Yummy. Alrighty guys, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Sprouting is so easy to do. It's, it can be cheap too in the long run. When you do this in bulk, you save a lot of money and it, the benefit, health benefits are off the charts really. I think everybody should be sprouting, honestly. Really, they should. So remember to love being raw, you guys. Vegan, whole foods, plant-based, whatever floats your little boats. Just remember to take care of yourself. Take care of yourself the best that you know how. Have a wonderful day today. Put a big old smile on your face today. I hope I did that for you. And I will see you guys next video, okay? Bye guys.